What's going on? It's your boy Cavi Kingpin, Just For The Hell Of It Podcast. We back in the building. I got your boy Justified, Slumdog Millionaire. And we, I mean, we got a legend. And I and I say respectfully, she went from Snow White to dipped in snow. Whatever that shit means. <laughs> Bless her heart and her family. <laughs> dipped it. it sounds like drugs, but I'm not even going to get into it. But go ahead. Introduce yourselves, man. Is the ladies first? Sure. Yes. <laughs> Okay, that's so sweet. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all know y'all from Buffalo. Ladies first. People don't do that no more. Um, Snow White, of course. The one and only. I heard this too, but it's only one. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm going to go over there. Man, what a, what a, we got all kinds of Justified. And as usual, it's justified, and I'm. Just, and as usual, it's justified. What and, you you on heroin, nigga? You off your game, nigga? What's good? <laughs> Moving sluggish. Uh, need some Adderall. Uh, if he was, you just blew his high, dude. Thank you. <laughs> he needs some Adderall, nigga. <laughs> nah, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> justified. Go ahead, lead the topic, bro. The topic of the day is. Let me see if I say this dude's name properly because <laughs> it's suspect. It's the, way, yeah. the way it's spelled there. But his name is uh Pete Buttigieg. Buttigieg. <laughs> 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 I'm not bullshitting. Hold on, I say what is it? Name. What is it again? <laughs> he, uh Buttigieg. He is the mayor of South Bend, Indiana, who's openly gay and running for president. Mm. Now. The reason I pick the reason I um I came up with this topic I, I'll I'll take you know the fact of doing that the reason I came up with it was because I had, I did a poll to where people was asked do you think America would be ready for the first um, openly gay president and my response was after the motherfucker we got now we, I mean, we, we open for anything you actually can dress a fucking dog up in a three piece suit. And put him in front of the podium, yeah, and we'd be out. Right. And be a better president than the motherfucker we got now. Yeah. Way better, way better. Snow White. But what, go ahead, go ahead. My bad. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, but what killed me was that black people was against the shit. Mm. Which, if you know, which kills me because you know, you go to any Baptist church, mostly Baptist or any type of, you know, they, they, their music director is fucking gay. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Preach. <laughs> so, Preach. What the fuck? If you go, you know, if you go to a hairdresser. Shit, we all, all our mothers don't know. If you're from Buffalo, you know who Andre DeAndre is. <laughs> Let's go. Right? Let's go. So, shit, if you know that. <laughs> no, you did not. <laughs> Let's, just yo, saying, justify it on bullshit today. Let's go. Hey, hey, Andre DeAndre. Take a damn man. The most nappy headed woman <laughs> made her look like somebody and feel like somebody once she, once she left his shop. He also take a nigga and do some other <laughs> shit with him, too. We ain't going to speak on that. But. But the whole thing is, you know, I mean, that's what made me pick this topic. So, I mean, we can go around and I'll come back and say anything else. That's why I opened this statement. Yo, that was some sad. Yo, Slum. I, I, Yo. See, you don't know who the guy is. This is some Buffalo politics. This dude is a, a gay hairdresser, but he's successful. And uh, allegedly, they said he was fucking drug dealers in Buffalo. Allegedly. So oh. this dude off the chain, man. And uh, <laughs> he so for justify even throw a name out there like that, he uh, justify on some savage shit. But that's who the guy <laughs> is. That's how myself snow and justify why we laughing this gay dude or something. But um my personal opinion on this situation is I mean, like you said, you had a he's a and I'm gonna say this allegedly because he ain't been charged. He's a slash he's a child molesters slash racist slash thief slash everything don't pay his taxes tax evasion donald trump he does all this thing so a guy coming along being homosexual which i don't find nothing wrong with it whatever is your preference is your preference what's the fuck what's the problem what's the issue not to mention he's qualified you know how you're supposed to be uh you know Politician, or usually yeah. a war hero, and all that other shit. Yeah, this guy, yeah. man. He also was. He also fought in Afghanistan. Mm. You know, he went to Harvard. Okay. You know, he was qualified. Oh. So he's very qualified for the position, man. 
Yeah. Go ahead, Slum. Go ahead. So I can't understand why why people just because he's a gay man want to you know hold that against him or something like that. We have literally the human Cheeto in office right now who literally said he would fuck his own daughter. Oh, his shit. Daughter. Oh shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Yeah, true. Snow, Snow, Snow. What you think of this situation? Snow. Maybe she's the mute button. Slumdog. Yes, I'm here. I had to, um, I'm inside the mall. I had to come to the bathroom and pee. So I had to put y'all on mute. Okay. <laughs> but I was listening to everything. <laughs> now that I don't wash my hands and I'm walking back to the salon. Now, first of all, <laughs> let me clear my throat. <laughs> Let me clear my throat. <laughs> <laughs> y'all are like, <laughs> funny. y'all is a mess. But, um, yeah, I don't really agree with that. Hi, how you doing? So you don't agree with him being a president? I'm getting a picture. I'm going to wait for her. I'm going to wait for her right there. Got Snow handling business on a podcast. Yep. <laughs> got to do what you got to do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, okay. um, I mean, well I don't, you, you don't agree with him I being a president? I don't agree with it. Okay, so this is the problem. So first you got young people... Forever, 
You know, if you gay, you gay. You know, some people like the cucumber better, the cucumber better pickle. That's their opinion. You know, that's Yo, their opinion. this nigga. Wow. <laughs> you know, as long as you do the job, I mean, shit. Who's to say that this dude might not be the one to actually fix all the shit that this dude already fucked up? That was already fixed. Well, it will they respect him in the office? Will his, will his people that's working for him respect him? Will the world respect him? Will they listen and abide by everything that he say? Like, I don't know. This is my thing. Um, I'm looking at a news article say America is at its gay, America's at its gay rights crossroads thanks to Pete, but whatever his name is in the Supreme Court. So obviously, I believe it say a married gay man is running for president, and that's and, and that's not disqualifying. Six months ago, I I I have said no way, no gay. Mayor Pete changed my mind. So obviously, he's making a change fires in the LGB community. But I hear with Snow saying. On that part, because even if we got a female president, I say because gay gay men respectfully act like divas. So just like if you get a female in office, what what's to say where they might not make a rash decision and get our fucking uh, country wiped off the map? So you got to factor in those things also. But at the same time, we got um, I'm looking at a news article say America is at his gay America is at his gay rights crossroads. Thanks to Pete. But whatever his name is in the Supreme Court. So obviously, I believe it's a, a married gay man is running for president. And that's and, and that's not disqualifying. Six months ago, I, I, I have said no way, no gay. Mayor Pete changed my mind. So obviously, he's making a change fires in the LGB community. But I hear with Snow saying on that part, because even if we got a female president, I say because... Gay gay men respectfully act like divas. So just like if you get a female in office, what what's to say where they might not make a rash decision and get our fucking uh, country wiped off the map? So you got to factor in those things off the chain. Yeah, call, 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 call pistol Pete. Call pistol Pete. Oh, <laughs> pistol Pete. The way I see it is, you know, I don't care if, if he's gay. You know what I'm saying? He's qualified to run. And if he happens to win, then so be it. As long as he can fix the problems that we're dealing with today. Because there are plenty of, uh, you know, gay world leaders out there in different countries and shit like that. And, uh, you know, man, I think it was bound to happen one day. Because, let's be real, there's a lot of people in the LGBT community. They're all over the place, man. It was bound to happen one day. Just like how a black dude became president, eventually a woman will become president. You know, we just don't know when. But it's, it's going to happen. Right. I agree. I agree. Yeah, I agree. I just knew Hillary won because it's too many skeletons in her closet. And, I mean, she I believe she would have yeah. been better choice than this motherfucker that's in office. But, I mean, she just had too much ske- too many skeletons in her closet. Um, It was just too much with her. But, you know. She's too arrogant. V- very much. Very, with the Suge Knight outfits and shit. Very much. Yeah, exactly. Very much. <laughs> very much. So, <laughs> that's the crazy thing about it. Um, What do... If he win, it'd be cool, but I think he shouldn't keep pushing the agenda of the LGB community. He should just say for everyone. Okay, cool. If you happen to be gay, he, but I, right. in the news, well, I'm sorry, maybe it's not him, but I'm sure yeah, I think it's it's, just because, the news know. keep pushing that shit. Well, yeah. Because I, think he should, I think he should have kept, kept that to himself and just exactly. ran and seen how, you know, the outcome would have been from that. But the world so knows you that they would have found out anyway and held it against him. But like so, you said, yeah, I agree. I agree. Out, you know, it's, hard, out, yeah, it's hard to hide a whole husband. That's like a woman president trying to hide a ba- uh, pain in the ass baby daddy. All right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> True. Like Trump trying to hide all the ex wives is. Shit won't work. Sorry. <laughs> 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 That's it. But, I mean, the whole thing is, I think it's the, the media was pushing this whole. Um, his um sexuality because pretty much everything else that he said they talk about he shows you know 
him being in the army, him um, you know, going to Harvard, him you know, all this stuff, you know, all this stuff that shows that he's qualified. And then it's almost like they throw that, oh yeah, by the way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. They, they both sound thing. like white men. <laughs> How does that work? I I don't. You know what? You y'all just you really sound like white. Y'all sound like white men. I don't. I'm from the hood. I'm illiterate. I I don't know much, but I know y'all sound like white men. But well, how about this? <laughs> <laughs> Islam. Yeah, you you get you. No no no. Old, Cut it back. Justify don't sound. Three. No, justify. Uh, you don't sound like a white man. You sound older. You sound like about forty five. You got an old ass Buick, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to say, yeah, well, if, yo, you blindfold t- uh, three of the Georgia Highway Patrol and have them hear our voice and see if they call and see if they try to reach for their gun. What the <laughs> fuck? You do, you know what, Justify? You do, you said you're from the Carolinas, right? <laughs> that sounds like a nigga. Well, I have to go, and it was my chit chat and what they're on. Yeah, dipped in snow, dipped in snow. Thank you for your time. Uh, I know y'all handling business. We gonna need you on the show again, all right? Snow. Are you taking snow? What did you say? I said. Go ahead, go ahead, y'all. Go ahead. Uh, I said, take it easy. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm about to get a yeah, it was, it was good to hear from you. Uh oh. Slumdog said it's good to hear from you. You know. Well, power to you. So we go, <laughs> Snow. We gonna need you, Snow. We gonna need you for a whole full show, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna have to do the research on this guy and see, um, get to know a little bit more about him. Okay. See what I think about this whole situation because I kind of just judged it off for the whole game, so that don't make sense for him to be president. Honestly, that's how I just feel. But I mean. It's all good. Well, go go, like go ahead and handle your business. Thank you, and I'll hit you in a minute, all right? Okay, bye. All right, bye, peace. everybody. All right, all right y'all. Take it easy. Yep. But um, my, my opinion on this uh really is like um, you got this guy. He may be good for the country, but like pushing that agenda of I'm gay, it's, it seems like you're only serving the LGB community, which is okay, but it's yeah. not okay if you're doing it for a whole America. And, yeah, I can see that because I'm looking on different websites right now, and, I mean, that's the, the main phase, uh, the main phase of the page is what it means to be a gay candidate, what it can do for the LGBT community, and so on and so forth. We don't that's not him saying about what he can do for America. Exactly. But that's, not, but that's not him saying all that. I mean, he said, what does it do? What's no, no, no. Because, no, no, I mean, well, I, I get that. Yeah. I get that. That's what he's saying. This is what the, the media is pushing right now. Yeah, which is is ridiculous because I mean, let's let's be let's be perfectly honest. Um, the whole thing is they throw out the gay part, you know, to try to see if they're gonna get you know people riled up and oh well you know I don't want to you know I don't want him in there I don't want you know we we can't have this and everything like that you know they doing all that shit but I mean the LGBT community it's like you know if you if it, if anything. If they want equality and want everything going, they'll be right. I mean, I was, I mean, I'm happy that they've made the leaps and bounds to get the respect. What pisses me off is that they kind of leaked over for black folks. <laughs> so it's like, at the end of the day, we still at the bottom, <laughs> you know. Right, right. And the LGBT community is, you know, over us. Now, you know, when it used to be almost shameful for people to talk about homosexuals, now it's become... You know, fashionable and you know stuff. You know, you got you know have that one person on a TV show. Well, we got to have that one gay gay person on the show that balances out the show. And you know, but you know, it's you know, it's it's ridiculous because at the end of the day, it's still another person who is still gonna have to go through some shit and to deal with some type of inequality, race, or you know, bullshit from some you know bigot racist who don't want to see nothing change. But it's like, if you could control, I mean, if, like I said, if we had this asshole control, the dude was running the damn uh, city, right? Now, he's, a, he's running the city. Trump couldn't even run a business without it tanking, and he still became fucking president. This dude's running the city and took it out of the gutter. Now, his qualifications should not, you know, it shouldn't be like, oh, well, he's gay, so that automatically disqualifies him. 
because Lily, uh, Hillary Clinton not sucking dick didn't, qual- didn't, qual- didn't disqualify her from trying to run for president. That's true. Exactly. That's true. Uh, hey, Monica Lewinsky can run for fucking president. <laughs> that makes sense. Um, Slumdog, my question, my question Yo. to you is, um, if this guy become president and, uh, you know, like his agenda is pushing for the, it seemed like it's pushing for the LGB community. But do you believe that he will leave the black community out just because he's going, you know what I mean? Sometimes that's, they kind of make that hand really in hand, question. but it's not. That's a really good question. Yeah. Um, that's tough to say, man, because it's like Justified said, you know, this is the thing. We're both oppressed communities. But at the same time, it seems like the LGBT community gets a lot more love than the black community when it comes to issues that they have to go through and deal with. And, um, you know, the fact that, because we're already seeing it now that the media is pushing it, not saying that it's him or anything like that, but the media is pushing that, you know, what he can do for the LGBT community, how he can change America for them and such, you know, and whatnot. And um, I don't know, man. I don't think only time will tell with that because... As of right now, he's still a he's still a white man. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And at the end of the day, he still won't understand what us as, as black folks have to deal with in this country. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. So for us to go with him to him with our issues and expect him to uh you know, magically change everything, I don't see that happening. Not just like in the snap of the finger or something like that or dropping the hat. Now, we, right. we know, we don't, we'll never know. We'll see what happens when we get to that time. But until then, my opinion as of right now is no. I don't think so. I don't think so. Right, because, I, I, dude, I mean, and I say this respectfully, his campaign music is Rain and Men. <laughs> could be playing. That could be playing at a, a, a political party. So I don't knock it, have nothing against I have family members that's in the LGB community. But... I was just saying it should be his contributions should be highlighted for everyone, not just the LGB community, because like you said, I believe and I'm not going to say, well, fuck it. I'm saying it. I believe our community is more oppressed than the LGB community because they actually, yeah, way more uh, oppressed. Like, you know, all these videos with the cops beating on kids and black kids and black men being killed. You rarely, you rarely see and if you do see that, Ellen will fucking, <laughs> Ellen gonna go ham. No, I was gonna say, no. She gonna go ham. She will put some money on somebody's head before you, the LGBT you, community be disrespected. You a gay person, dog, that's your job, man. You, you done. You're going to exactly. jail. It's a wrap. You're done. Because in most cases, You're if done. it is, it's a gay, it, yeah, but if they do that, it's because it's usually a gay white person. Exactly. Now, the funny thing out of everything that goes on is, I mean, the, LPG, the LBGT community do get a good um, way with things. But it usually look like it favors more towards white folks. I mean, exactly. that's that's what we see. I mean, if you gay and black, Wanda Sykes told us that in effect, you gay and black, you fucked. <laughs> and well, that's what Wanda said, you know. But at the same time, what I was gonna what I was gonna say was just like um, as far as with um people saying okay, well, it, with him being gay, would well, that just benefit just the LGBT community? Remember what President Obama went to? Everybody thought that it was just gonna be all black. They say, oh, well, as soon as he gets there, he's going to have a barbecue and all his, everybody from his old hood is going to come. This is what re- the rest of yeah, Whoever thought that was a fucking moron, man. Yeah, but I'm just saying, we can't, you know, pretty much by, if we was to say, okay, well, pretty much the only thing that's going to happen is, you know, he's just going to be the LGB community, Pride, Pride Week is going to become a fucking national holiday because he's in there. That's pretty much us doing the same thing as what, they was doing towards black folks when President Obama was running. I mean, I mean, it's, it's true. I mean, first of all, everything will be stereotyped. That's in life. You, oh, yeah, just like you see well, a white man, Chinese man. Yeah, that's that's life. It's always gonna be stereotyped. Um, justify. Do you think? Um, now this this is a, another question. Do you personally think he's good for America? In your opinion. Look past the, the, the LGB community and stuff, just from what you know about him. From what I know about the guy, from what I read and researched yeah. about the guy, he's he qualifies to be the leader of the free world. He he actually fits the qualifications. He don't you know he's not in, is no 
um, scandals yet. Cause you know, eventually there's gonna be some kind of scandal. There's gonna be some dude saying he was a Boy Scout leader or something. Right later on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's gonna, you know, somebody's gonna come up with some bullshit later on. But as far as what everything looks, he's qualified. I think that he, he's he, all I can say is he's qualified to be the leader, much like most of the people who are in the Democratic uh, running is qualified to be a leader. Okay. You know, they, so far, so far he already passes the first step. Because he meets all qualifications to be president. You know, right. he's not buying right. his way in. He's not getting pushed in with a bunch of damn arrogant rich assholes and a bunch of house niggas. Right. Because whoever that diamond and silk bitch is, them two fat motherfuckers, damn people look like they should be doing Popeye chicken commercials, them motherfuckers. The motherfuckers who's in blackface on top of blackface sitting there campaigning for Trump. Shit. Yeah. You got motherfuckers like that that's, help, that's making it worse for us. There'd be motherfuckers like that that would keep a, a qualified motherfucker like this, you know, behind the fact that he's gay from doing anything. I mean, shit, because the dude, he might, with all the stuff going on and people making the comments, and then you get people like that trying to throw his uh, stuff be about being gay, especially the rich white folks, he'll sit there and say, hey, I suck dick too. So yo, yo. <laughs> Sound like Myron Byron. <laughs> yeah, he, 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 he can get real raw with them, right? Brushing he his teeth with a with pipe. They keep, they keep bringing up him being gay. He be like, I don't know what you ladies upset about about gay dudes in there. Hey, I suck dick just like you. We can exchange secrets or something. Fuck? But that shouldn't keep me from being president. You know? <laughs> <laughs> if I, if, if, hey, they'll push this dude's buttons and he, he'll show him. You'll get raw with them. <laughs> Yo, so so what, what I like Yo. to do, I, I want to do a part two on this, and I actually want to get someone uh, of the LGB community, and y'all can sit and, uh, you know, we could get their opinion. I definitely want to do a uh, part two on this, because it makes sense. Yo, that's a good idea. I, 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 got a, I actually have a cousin in New York City. I probably can get him on the line. He's a uh, little hot boy. Um, <laughs> we could get him on there and see his opinion, but we we we'd get someone, you know, we can speak and debate on it because I think this is a good subject. I mean, the guy could be just because he qualified, he may be good for the LGB community, but not good for America. That's just my opinion of what's going on. I'm not saying he won't, he could probably, he probably can become the best president, you know, ever. But the point is, as far as his genders, we don't know personally, like, but with the news putting out, he's not going against it. So obviously it's like good news. From his, from his party. So that's right. that's what I really want to speak on and and, and get well, that. I, well, I will say this: he's damn sure better than Trump, though. Like, oh, just, come on, man! A fucking a fucking crackhead on the street better than Trump, man. Come on, man. We, a fucking used the, condom is better than Trump. Shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo. Yeah. But, hey, but I will say this: I will say this though. Okay, like everybody talking about whether it's a gender everything. There's two names in history. That you know, and I had to look this up. There's two names in history that shows people who care not only about who, who were of the LGBT, but didn't just care just solely about the LGBT. Is Harvey Milk, okay. and there was a singer, a singer named Sylvester. Okay, I heard. Yeah, uh, Sylvester. Both, yeah, both? heard of Sylvester. Yeah, Sylvester. Well, you make me feel mighty real. And actually, yeah. he the group that saw Gets Rated Men was his background singer. Oh wow! So wow! So wow. don't really? what. Yeah, so what happened was when AIDS first broke out and everybody, you know, was, you know, when they was getting everything, him and Harvey Milk both were trying to set up stuff to where people could pr practice safe sex with no more about it, have more information and not just be given a death sentence. Ultimately, Sylvester um, died from AIDS, but it was because the person, you know, the guy that he was with gave it to him, so the guy he was getting married to. And it was a sad story, but... They, it wasn't like he didn't just do this saying he was just doing it for gay folks. He, you know, he didn't just look out for gay people. He was looking out for everybody. Right. You know, it, right. was just, it was affected in San Francisco where it was a lot of gay people. And it was like he started there, but he never made it just so they never made it anything solely just about gay people. Hell, Harvey Milk was the mayor of San Francisco. Mm. So, wow. Anything, you know, anything rest, rest in peace. Is, is both of them passed away? Yeah, somebody assassinated Harvey Milk. Oh shit! Rest in peace to those guys, Jeez, man. man. Right. Yeah, man. Yeah. Let, let's get into the uh, final thought. Um, let me go first, then we gonna go Slum Dog, and since it's Justified brought up this topic, he can go last. Um, my opinion is uh, we're gonna do a part. Two, well, excuse me, we're gonna do a part two on this topic 
because I want to get from the perspective of someone from the LGB community. But uh, my opinion is, whatever's good for America, let it be good for America. But I just want to see is is it just from the LGB standpoint, or is it is he just for the LGB community? That's what I want to know. Go ahead, Sloan. Uh, well, I will say, you know. I'm not going to hold him being gay, you know, hold that against him for running for president. I mean, not at your all. life is your own, you know what I'm saying? You live your life how you want to live it because it's your life. Don't let anybody else dictate how you live it. Um, I, I'm curious to see how this is going to go as well because, like you said, I, I for one, want to see what else he'll do for, you know, other people who are oppressed in the country because there, there's a lot. There's a lot, man. And uh, also, shout out to Coach Ellen. Herbie's race shot through the roof out that motherfucker, man. Yo, you serious? <laughs> that ass, man. What that ass fuck? Bro, shot through the roof out there. <laughs> niggas, niggas run around the clap, though. <laughs> it, clap. It, it was uh, it's a website, herbie.com, man. They said they uh, they give out medication and stuff like that for the um, for the, the virus. And uh, they said when Coachella happened, it went from twelve cases. To 250, I believe, is what the number one. Niggas was hitting raw dog out there. Yo, they just spreading everything out there, dog. Somebody got off the toilet seat a few times and tried to explain that shit to their woman right now. Look, baby, I, 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 I wasn't fucking. <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> go, go ahead, justify it. Go ahead. All right. Um, my final take on the whole sub, on this whole topic. Well, on this topic, on part one is the fact that um. The best way to uh, the the politics of the job, the guy who's running should not be met, messed up with by whatever his orientation is. We all saw, we've all seen Holiday Hearts, and that, that one. No, 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 hear me out, hear me out. That one, remember, yeah, remember that scene? Remember that scene when Holiday and the little girl was having dinner? Yeah. And she asked him about. She she's like, "Well, do you sleep with men?" And she, he asked and said, "Well, yes, I do. Does that, you know, do you think I'm a bad person for doing it?" And one, the one thing that he said in that was, "The ultimate sin in life is, this, you know, not going for love. Like, you know, not be, not going for what you love is ultimate sin." And this guy loves, he he loves men, and he's married to a man that he's in, that he loves and everything. And that should not take away from his politics, no more than. If it was a black guy who was with a white woman or a white uh, black woman with a white guy, vice versa, however it goes, it doesn't take away from the type of person that, you know, and whatever their job is, you know. And, you know, we, we can't hold that against, we can't hold what somebody likes against them because obviously a bunch of rich, overprivileged white motherfuckers didn't overhold the fact of Trump loving to get pissed on and fucking porn stars raw <laughs> to think of way for being the fucking president still. That nigga right? crazy. Wow. Right? So if this man is homosexual and he's and he's married and he and he loves his husband and he loves his country and he wants to do what's best for it, he wants to try to do good for this country, we can't hold the fact of what his orientation is. Exactly. Because we've had, like Gabby like, like, uh, said, we have a fucking child, uh, child molesting, sexual, sexual deviant, porn star fucking. And if and you notice, you notice his daughter never travels with him to Mississippi because she knows if he she bends over, he's gonna fuck her. All right. Yo. <laughs> Yo fuck. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Pay attention. You never seen Ivanka. You never seen Ivanka go on the trail with her father to Mississippi, Arkansas. Yo, listen, listen, yo. <laughs> All right, man. Just listen. Li- fuck her any chance you get. She Ju- stays in New York and DC. You can't get away with that shit in in the city. Justify, you on one, man. From just for the hell of it podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening, man.